All right, so this video now is for, you know, accessing the Google Classroom. We just talked about how we can access the Jitsi Meet Classroom, okay? Especially for new users. Now, remember one thing. Once you've accessed the Google Classroom, once you will not need to enter a passcode or an access code to join the classroom again, okay? So it's, it's a one-time thing. Once you're in, you're in. So let, let's see how we can do that. So I'm, I'm gonna share my screen again. Now we still revert to the email that was sent to us, the second email that has the subject attention course announcement, okay? So in this email that contains all these links, all you need to do, I mean, hoping we have all downloaded the uh, two applications, but the GT and the Google Classroom, all we need to pay attention to now is the link, okay? So we need to use this link uh, to be able to access it. So we click on the Google Classroom link. I'm just gonna annotate it here, this one, okay? So you click on the Google Classroom link to join using your browser. Remember, to join using your browser. So now we click on this link, and it's gonna take us to the classroom. So if it's your first time to enter the classroom, okay, you will notice that it's going to ask you to enter the access code. So just um, give it a moment to come up. Mm, one second. So this is, a classroom connected to a different email. So I'm just gonna change the email here to a new email, okay? So let's assume you're a new student. What would you see um, when you click on, I'm just gonna refresh this page a bit, just one second. I think my internet is a bit slow. Okay, so let's change the email. So if you're a new student, this is exactly what you would see once you click on the link, okay? Give it a moment to come up. All right, so so this, this actually isn't a new email because it has joined the class already, okay? So just keep in mind, if, 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 you're, if it's your first time to join the Google class, you will see the option to enter classroom code, okay? enter classroom code. That's that's what you're gonna see. And all you need to use is this access code right here, on the Google Classroom page, okay? E-Y-Q-P-A-L-O, okay? All in small letters. This is what you're gonna use to enter uh, the Google Classroom, okay? So once you enter the Google Classroom, I mean, for those who are on the, uh, um, devices, I mean, uh, laptops, okay? If you're using your, your laptop or your browser, if it's a laptop you're using, you can do the same thing you did with the Jitsi uh, to be able to what? Create a short cord. So let's do the same thing to create a shortcut. Here, you go to the three dots on the top right and you click on more tools, you click create shortcut, okay? Google Classroom, remember, endeavor to click on open as a window. Then you click on create and that's it. So it opens like a window of its own. And once you go to your list of menu, you'll be able to see Google Classroom as an application on its own. All right, all right, so that's it. Now, once you're in the classroom, you'll be able to see in the stream. So we have three sections, stream, classwork and people. So in the stream, you'll be able to see all the, you know, posts that have been made since the inception of this class. From the very last, uh, first post below, you see the uh, course curriculum, you can download this, all right? And now let me, let me say this for Android users, okay? Okay, I I'm gonna come back to that, okay? So don't worry about that. Okay, so you can click, have access to the, it's a PDF file. You could easily download the file from here, okay? You can actually download it 
from here. One second. Okay, I, I think I didn't make this downloadable. Okay, or perhaps because it's in it's in the window, it's not in the browser. So if it's in the browser, I believe you'll be able to download. Let's just try and see. Okay. Little delay in my network. Just a moment, give it some time. All right, there we go. So let's see if we can download. Yeah, let's see if we can download this here. All right, so still coming. Okay, so the very first um, post is this one, okay? So we click on the course curriculum and let's see if we can download it directly on the web page. Okay, so in that case, it's not downloadable, okay? It's not downloadable anyways. This course curriculum is the same that you receive in the very first email that you, you, you got, okay? So you could actually download it from the first email you received the moment you signed up. We sent you an email containing the course curriculum, okay? So this is just to view, okay? So let's go back to the um, shortcut we had created and access it just like a standalone application, okay? So now, you would see all the posts. You can go to the modules as well, and you can download the modules, actually. Yes, the modules are downloadable. So if you're using um, a browser or a laptop, it's easy for you to access the Google Docs, okay? You don't have to download the Google um, uh, Docs to be able to access this. So all you can do is click on File and click on Download. Choose the format you want to download it in, PDF or Docs, it's up to you. You download it and you, it downloads directly to your computer, okay? Now, this is what, I mean, some of the features you would, sorry, you would see when you access the classroom, okay? And you can add your comments to any of the modules we've taken. So we've taken module one. We've taken module one. I would also, also take in module two as well, all right? A part, part of module two, you're gonna be getting the video for um, the remaining part later. Okay, so this is exactly what you can see in the classroom. Now, what about Android or iPhone users? How can you access the classroom, okay? Now, uh, before I move on to that, let me talk about how you can access your assignments, okay? So for, for those who have you know, received assignments, you'll see that in your classwork, okay? In the classwork, you'll be able to see the assignments that have been sent to you, and you'll be able to do it here. For example, you see, midweek test questions for module one, it's already past the due date, okay? It's already past the, the due date. So you can't actually do anything about this now, okay? All right, so it's already past the due date, okay? However, if you receive further assignments, you will be seeing them under the class uh, work page, okay? That's exactly where you'll be seeing it, under the class work, okay? Right here. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go to um, those who have Android or iPhone devices, it's the same thing, the same thing basically. So I'm just gonna stop the sharing here and I'm gonna share from my mobile phone so you can see for yourself. All right, there we go. So I believe you can see the 
screen share. Okay, excellent. So all you need, since you have downloaded the GC Meet app in the classroom, this time we're focusing on, on the classroom. Now to access the classroom, if it's your first time, okay, you need to access the email that was sent to you and click on this link, okay? Click on this link for the classroom. Let me just annotate it right here, this one, okay? And now we click, it's gonna take us to the Google Classroom on the browser, okay? However, we could actually choose to access this classroom from the application, okay? So to access it from the application we've downloaded, we could just simply come to the application and click on classroom. Now, if it's the first time to access the classroom, it's gonna tell us, look, you don't have existing classes. Create or join. So you wanna cl click on this plus icon and click on join class. Now you, it will request you to do what? Impute the class code. Now from the email, what is the class code? Let's check again. So the class, class code here is E-Y-Q-P-A-L-O, right here, all right? So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go to the classroom app and paste. The moment we paste, you'll see the option to do what? Join the classroom, okay? So we click on join and that takes us to the classroom. So like I said, you'll be able to see all <clears throat> the posts that have been made on this classroom since its inception, okay? So you'll be able to see the curriculum. You could actually download it here on the phone, I believe. You can say, save all files offline, or you click on it and you'll be able to view it here or go online and download it, okay? Now, one thing I want to inform you, um, uh, Android users or iPhone users, endeavor to download Google Docs, okay? If you're gonna be accessing this class using your um, iPhone or your Android devices, okay? Download Google Docs because you would be able to edit your assignments easily and submit them if you have Google Docs downloaded. So go to Play Store and just search for Google Docs, D-O-C-S, okay? But the same thing on your iPhone as well. So right here, this one is what we want to download, okay? So once you have this downloaded, you can easily access documents on it, edit documents, submit your assignments, as well okay so that's it that's it if, if you receive assignments you're going to see it in the post it's going to come just like this one came new assignments so everything is going to be shown on the stream page okay of the classroom and you can easily access it from here okay thank you very much and i hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to send us an email the email link is on, on, on the, the email we sent to you, as well as you can visit our website, expand.us, okay, for more questions. Thank you very much, and I hope this information helps you all.